An incredible and really indescribable moment. Hundreds of us shared here in the middle of nowhere, really, in Arkansas, along Nimrod Lake, the total solar eclipse. We were in totality for over four minutes. And it's really, again, hard to describe, so let me show you what it was like. So, oh my God. Oh my God. you can see how dark it is. <gasps> Temperature's dropping, light's dropping. Oh my God. Almost there. Oh my God. Almost there. Oh my God. Almost there. Oh. Almost there. Oh my God. It's there. How is it, guys? Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy and so you can't really see it with this camera, but there is just this black moon shadow covering the sun, and there's just a, a light ring along the outside of it. It's goosebumps. It's nearly being brought to tears because it's so weird. You just look out. How's it going? It looks like we're at twilight and dusk. We have four minutes and 16 seconds of it here. Wow. You can hear screams in the distance. People are just so moved emotionally by this. It's like watching your favorite team score, t score a touchdown, but so much more, something, something more meaningful. It's emotional. Venus is right there. That's Venus. Um, yeah, Venus. <laughs> Maybe it's a serious. Planet Well, I know that. That did not feel seven like four minutes. Minutes. That, Those were not four Checked off. Like how many years? Seven years. Oh. How, how, describe what you're feeling right now. I mean, how can you? You know, in 2017, I saw the partial eclipse, and I was like, I gotta go. I gotta see in 2024. I just, I knew I had to see it. I'm so glad. Yeah, that. the drive home's not gonna, just, even traffic, Just overwhelming not gonna feelings, be. really. <laughs> <laughs> And this one was such a challenge. Yeah. Did that make it a little bit more? Yeah, we left at 9 p.m. last night. We drove 12 straight hours. Holy crap. So. You can tell I'm just a little bit drained because it was so emotional and such an incredible experience. Many people say this is a once in a lifetime experience, but so many people I run into here, this is their second or their third or even more eclipses and total eclipses that they made it to. And I can understand why you would want to keep coming back and try to explore and chase after the next one, which I hope to be able to do as well. I was covering this incredible experience, the total solar eclipse here along the shores of Nimrod Lake in Arkansas. I'm Jonathan Petromala.